In this video, we will show how to tie the Henryville Special Caddis Fly. Materials needed for this fly. Dry fly hook, size 10 through 20. For this demonstration, I am using a size 10. Gray pre-waxed thread, about 6-0. Palmer rib grizzly hackle. A body will be the olive floss. Under wing, wood duck flank fibers. The wing mallard quill sections tied to flare outward from the body and a hackle will be brown. Add your tying thread to the shank of the hook. Bring the thread all the way to the bend of the hook. This will create a layer of thread on the shank to add traction uh, so that all materials being tied to the, sh to the hook will not slide off. Get a grizzly, grizzly hackle, one size smaller than the hook, tie it in at the bend of the hook, securing the stem underneath the shank of the hook. Tie in the olive floss about one quarter of the way from the eye of the hook. What I like to do is tie it from the eye to the bend and back to make sure I do not have any missing gaps uh, for the body material. Now take the grizzly hackle and we will palmer rib the hackle through the body. Make sure you have nice even spaces uh, throughout the body. Now trim the grizzly hackle fibers on the top of the fly. Now add the wood duck underwing to the fly. One method of attaching the wing to this pattern is to pick up the quill section which is to form the far side of the wing and hold it in place with the pad of the index finger of your left hand. Then pick up the quill section for the near side of the wing and hold it against the shank with your thumb pad.
Now add the brown hackle to the fly. We will tie this in like a dry fly and we will use three or four turns of this hackle. Whip finish the fly and we are done. This is an excellent high floating pattern to use in pocket water.